What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're discussing about Saigon, who has been updated to support iOS 10.3.1 you know, jailbreaking on certain devices. So let's just get into that. You probably remember the Saigon jailbreak. It used to be pink gradient in here, but now it's been changed to blue, but that's not what is important. It's been updated as well from iOS 10.2.1 only to iOS 10.2.1 and iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak. Once this is released as, you know, a final IPA, this will be the first iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak and of course the first iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak. I really want to hear somebody in the comment section saying now that the jailbreak is dead. Anyways, these are currently the supported devices. We have the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus on which it's been tested for iOS 10.2.1, the iPhone SE only on iOS 10.2.1 never tested. The 6S works on both iOS 10.3.1 and iOS 10.2.1, uh, not been tested, and the iPad Air 2 Wi-Fi iOS 10.2.1 only. Now keep in mind that this jailbreak is still in development and um, Last week, it used to be an iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak and there was no compatibility table available officially. Now we see progress being made by this developer in here, Abraham Masri, and he is a new developer in the jailbreak community. We never had a jailbreak before from him, but we do know that this jailbreak is real. Even Saigusa has contributed to this jailbreak, so it's definitely something real. Now the IPA is currently not available, but the source code is available and you can compile it yourself. Um, it does doesn't seem to have been updated in the past couple days, so you should probably wait for an update to the source code if it hasn't been already updated before the website. And you can see here it says a hint of KPP less plus fixed bunch of warnings and added documentation. Now, if you remember, we talked about the KPP less method, you know, created by uh, Xerob a couple days ago. So I'm pretty, pretty glad that they started to use it in Saigon as well. As I said, it's going to be used in newer jailbreaks as well. And you can see it's being used in Saigon. Now, if you want to download the source code and try it yourself before an IPA is available, there is a video available on my channel in here on how to build Saigon jailbreak in Xcode for 64-bit IPA. IOS 10.2.1 or 10.3.1 where it's supported. In this case, it's the 6S. Now, this is a hint that IOS 10.3.1 might be also supported on many devices when this is ready. So it's pretty nice that it's not IOS 10.2.1 only. And uh, you should keep in mind that the uh, KPP bypass used in IOS 10.2.1 part of this jailbreak is the one from the Yalu, is that for IOS 10.2, but that is not compatible with IOS 10.2.1. 10.3.1, which means they're using Xerob's KPP less method in order to achieve a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.1, which is quite dope. Anyways, in this video in here, I'm showing you how to compile it yourself on a Mac if you want to, to try it out. There are still bugs to be fixed, uh, there are still errors to be fixed, so if you try it and it doesn't work, just give the developer more time. He is saying in here that's going to be available soon. So yeah, there is finally a uh, hope for an iOS 10.3.x jailbreak. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you updated once anything is finished in here or once uh, it's updated. So do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow and peace out.